you think about the words commitment, dedication, and all in, Dave Cohn is all in. The world's changing so quickly, and my goal is not to be another old man yelling at them, get off my lawn, but to be someone there who is there for them. Whether I agree, disagree, understand, whatever, I'm not going to make a school a hard place for you to be. I'm going to make it for a safe place for you to be. I actually came into the school in the middle of the year last year, so when I did come, he really cared and he saw that I was new and he probably knew that it was hard. And so he actually gave me recommendations of clubs and people to talk to and just make more connections at the school. That actually really helped me a lot because I honestly didn't expect, especially at such a big school like Hebron, to find that. And the fact that he really did care and he really did help me along the way, it really made me feel special. We have students that request to take all the courses that he teaches because they just love Mr. Cohn. Mr. Cohn will go out of his way to try and befriend the student just to be the best teacher he can possibly be. It's a lot of work that goes unseen but it's that personal touch that connects the students and the new teachers to our campus and it makes people want to stay. It's generating pride. Just his care and effort for our campus is above and beyond. They feel connected while they're here and that's kind of my goal is to be a servant but also make people feel connected while they're here whether it be my students or the staff. We were at a um, social event several weeks ago and I sat down and looked and we had they brought 30 people there and all 30 of them had been mentored by me to some degree. And it's kind of like, I feel like the grandpa, but I feel like my, my legacy's continuing to other people. Whatever he's doing, he's doing it 100%. There's never a day where he's slacking, whether it's his enthusiasm or his game plan, he's really never behind, or at least if he has, I've never seen it. And I'd say the, the most important thing is he's, he does deeply care and love all of his students. He teaches us those life lessons about finance and how to help us in later life. I feel like that's just showing us he cares about our future and what we do later in life. And I also feel like just the way he teaches that, he wants us to succeed and he wants us to do well. All my classes we work on towards our future, partly because I had no idea. Just my background, I graduated second in my class. I was a nerd, someone you figured, you think would have it all figured out. I had no idea. I struggled with that. It was really kind of a it weighed on me that I didn't have a plan. And so I'm trying to help my students not be that way. Even if they don't have a plan, go some direction. Like everybody, he's able to look at them and take them as a person and play to their strengths. And he's not very generic as a teacher. He kind of fine tunes his teaching to every individual person. He's so supportive of all of his colleagues and the students, and he just wants to see Hebron's success and his legacy continued on for years to come. And that's why he pours into our school every day. I honestly feel like every school really needs a Mr. Cohn in their life, and I feel like he's just a great person. He cares, and he really shows up and does his job well. Mr. Cohn, thank you so much for all that you've done for me, uh, especially in your class, but even more than that, you've taught me so much. All of the success that I hope to achieve after this, part of that will come from you and what you were able to teach me. Thank you so much, Mr. Cohn, for helping me here in the classroom and helping me be able to succeed in the future and teaching me important skills and life lessons. And thank you for making the classroom fun and, and joyful and making me want to come and be here. And thank you for making me feel special in that way.